These trade talks have been ongoing for a while, lots of back and forth. Do you believe there is any real progress being made? And how would you define progress? Well, people are saying there's progress, and I suppose the fact that they're just meeting indicates that there is some sort of positive. It's better than not meeting. Better than not meeting. But also, you know, the issues are so high. The barriers there, Chinese theft of U.S. intellectual property, predatory trade practices, discriminatory practices. It's going to be extremely difficult for the Chinese to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to stop doing all this. So uh, I think that it's going to be very, very hard to get an enduring deal with the Chinese. You know, we pulled out that soundbite, but that's about all there was on China and trade. I mean, in an hour and 20 minute long speech. Are you surprised that we didn't hear more about the topic? I was very surprised about that. And also, I think, Brian, what's important is what we did not hear. You know, President Trump talked about meeting Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, gave a specific date, you know, February 27, 28. He didn't talk about meeting Xi Jinping, the Chinese ruler. And people had expected him to sort of announce that because the Chinese had said, look, we want to meet with Trump. Trump said, I want to meet with the Chinese. But he didn't actually confirm it. And that's an indication maybe the discussions are more mm. fluid. They're not as progressed as people think they are. The markets might be in for a little bit of surprise on this one. Bear with me here. The president did, though, last night, Gordon, say that he was going to go to Vietnam. We don't know what city to meet Kim Jong-un, the North Korean right. leader, at the end of June. Do you believe that could be some kind of a backdoor way into a meeting with Xi Jinping? Yeah, well, clearly the Chinese can come down to Vietnam, or Trump, for instance, could go to China. Um, and the Chinese want him to go to Hainan, which is part of the People's Republic. I'm, I don't think Trump will do that. He shouldn't be going to Chinese soil to talk about this. Why if not? The, because it is a power play from the Chinese point of view. You know, it's like the old barbarians going to the celestial court to show that they were inferior and that the Chinese were the dominant power. So clearly Trump should not do that. If he wants to talk to the Chinese, have them come down to Vietnam, have them better come to Mar-a-Lago again. Yeah, well, do you think that could happen? Um, you know, it really... Because there has to at some point be a next step. There's been a lot of talking. Yeah. We've heard a lot about meetings and talking. There has to be a next step, something on paper, something concrete that they can announce. And, and everyone, you know, uh, commentators are saying, look, it's going to be a sort of a simple deal to reduce the trade deficit. Trump a couple days ago said, no, it's going to be a comprehensive deal. It's going to deal with structural yeah. issues. And Robert Lighthizer, uh, actually, after the State of the Union said, look, the new U.S. Uh, US MCA agreement is going to be the model for future agreements, which is a direct yeah. message to Beijing. Trump didn't say that himself, but Trump has been talking about USMCA as really a model. He's done that in the past, so clearly the Chinese should be getting the message.